Hey everyone! As a lot of you may know if you follow me on Twitter, um, link is going to be in the description plug, I recently went to LA for four days and I'm unpacking my bag and I thought that this is a really really good time to do a what's in my travel bag video. Now um, this has pretty much all of my uh, beauty related stuff in there um, that I had for four days, so almost a week. Um, it's all about keeping it simple, keeping it nice and concentrated, nice and nice and clean and neat. So I'm going to show you what's in my travel bag and I hope you guys like this. Okay, so first of all I'm going to start off with skincare. Um, so the first, the first two things that I have in my travel bag are a cleanser and a moisturiser. When I'm travelling I don't really take anything else because I figure I can live without a serum or live without a... Um, live without an eye cream um, for that amount of time. I can just put my moisturiser where I need it. Um, so I have my Marlin & Getz Grapefruit Face Cleanser. Now I love the Marlin & Getz ones because they have really good travel sizes. So you can take this in your carry-on or you can take it in your checked luggage. And the smaller things are, the less likely they are to leak as well. So I've got the uh, Grapefruit Face Cleanser, which is lovely. It's a nice gel cleanser and it doesn't dry your skin out too much. A cleanser that removes makeup very important when you're traveling because you don't want to be carrying makeup remover. Most makeup removers, to be 100% honest, leak and they get oil all over everything and it's never fun. And then the vitamin E face cream. Now vitamin E is great for, your, uh, get great for uh, moisturizing your skin without uh, leaving too much residue on the face. Great for when you're flying as well. So that's always one to pack in your, in your bag. Now, one thing I have that doubles as a skincare product in my makeup bag is uh, MAC Fix Plus. Anyway, this one is 100ml, so you can take this one as carry-on. And this is great to spritz over your face because it contains a lot of, um, it contains a lot of moisturizing ingredients. Finishing mists like these are great for refreshing the skin. They usually contain a few, um, a few essential oils or they contain uh, water and things like that. So it's great for hydrating your skin. When you're traveling, you're usually pretty stressed out. So your skin starts to show it. And something like Fix Plus is really nice and it smells good too. Also, you can use rose water. I'm allergic to roses, so I can't use it. But um, rose water works just the same. So something really nice and hydrating for your skin uh, to stop that stress. One that kind of fits into skincare is my Sarah Hap Lip Slip. I don't go anywhere without this. This is beautiful, absolutely amazing lip balm. And it smells like marshmallows, so it's great. It's really thick, really nourishing on the lips. Also, it has a tiny bit of colour, tiny bit of shimmer, so it works as a night treatment. It also works as a gloss, so you can use it as your lip colour during the day as well, which I really love about that. So it's multi-purpose. Things that are multi-purpose are great for travel. The next thing is... If you're, if you're going out for dinner or something like that, um, going for a primer is really good because Having a primer like the Laura Mercier primer, this is just the travel size because I was traveling with it. Um, the Laura Mercier primer is really, really nice for keeping that hydration into your skin. And a primer will seal hydration into your skin. So when you're traveling, especially by plane, having something like this is really nice. Especially to wear onto your makeup if you're traveling um, so it doesn't your skin doesn't suck it in. Because the compressed air... Um, the air in the cabin pressure in the air is just awful for your skin. So something like that, great to have. Then I also like to take a tinted moisturizer. This is uh, the Stila Oil Free. Um, it comes with a SPF. It's tinted. It's a moisturizer. It's everything you can ask for. It's a multi-purpose product. You put it on in the morning. You can lay a foundation over the top for a little bit of extra coverage or just a bit of concealer, or you can wear it on its own. And something like that is really nice to carry around because it's doubling as your as your SPF as well. So I like to use something like that that's going to keep me nice and hydrated as well. And then over the top of that, I actually use my Graftobium palette. Now this is really, really good for traveling because what you've got here is you've got colors that will suit you if you're not tanned. If you do get a tan, you've got colors that'll suit you there as well. So 
something like that's good to carry around nice and small nice and compact and because it it because it's HD it works as a concealer as well so you don't need a face concealer I always take an under eye concealer though and this is the benefit of raised paste this is great to take because it cancels out dark circles now when you're traveling Usually you're pretty tired, especially by plane. I think the flight from Sydney to LA is 13 hours. So concealer, always great. And something like this cancels out dark circles because it's got a little bit of a peachy tone to it. This is a really nice concealer because it doesn't dry out your under eyes as well. But it does need to be set with a powder. So for powder, I actually carry... Um, this compact from MAC. Uh, this is the Baroque Boudoir uh, Old Compact. Um, carrying a compact like this is great because usually it comes with the puff. I keep the puff in there because it stops this part here from smashing. And the last thing you want is for your compact to smash in, um, in your bag. So I like to carry that. I use that to set my under eyes and set around my nose and my chin and it it works wonderfully. Great for travel as well because it doesn't smash. It's got a mirror as well if you get stuck and it sets your it sets your foundation. Now the next thing that I like to carry is my NARS Laguna bronzer. Now I recommend kind of folding up a tissue and putting it inside here because this one is does tend to smash but I need to have a bronzer when I'm on holidays. I'm the kind of person who when I'm at home I I'm out of the sun a lot. I, um, I work maybe multiple shifts a day. I stay inside the whole day. I do uni work. I film videos and it's all inside. So pretty much the only time I get in the sun when I'm at home is when I'm in the car driving to work. So I, when I go out in the sun, when I'm on holidays or when I'm going on a trip or something like that, which does happen, you are in the sun more because you don't have so many responsibilities, I tan. And then my foundation doesn't match me. So I need to bronze up. And like if you're anything like me and you get told to go back to Kentucky at Venice Beach, then you need bronzer. You know that you need bronzer because you're too pale. So yeah, um, bronzer, always something good to go for. And Laguna just happens to be my favourite, but any any bronzer is nice. Then I like to carry Benefit products as well. Um, the Benetint, because the bottle doesn't leak. I found that this one has never leaked on me and I can use it just constantly. It gives a really nice flush to the lips, so you don't have to carry an extra lipstick. And it gives a really nice flush to the cheeks, which uh, suits most most eye looks that you can do as well. And then I carry High Beam if I want a little bit of an illumination as well. Beautiful colour and it goes when you it goes well when you have a tan as well. So it's not something that's going to suit you when you're your regular colour and then not suit you when you're pale. If you have more of an olivey complexion though, go for high uh, go for Moonbeam. Um, because High Beam is a silvery tone and then Moonbeam is your gold tone. Speaking of benefit products, I really, really love Highbrow, the pencil, because this one works as a multi-use product and they're all really compact and really good for travel. Benefit products are just awesome. Um, the Highbrow you can use as a illuminator around your eyes. Eyebrow, you can use it on your on your cheeks if you like because it's a really nice neutral colour, neutral pinky linen kind of colour and you can just apply it and it just gives your face a lift. You could even use it on the Cupid's bow if you want and a multi-use product like that is always something good to go for. Then I also carry a MAC palette. I lay tissues on the inside of my palette, so inside here to stop anything from um, from smashing or falling out or whatever, just patting it inside a little bit. But um, what I've got there is a range of neutral shadows and it go, they range from light, from white, all the way through to black and a palette like this you cannot go wrong. The Urban Decay Na Naked palette great eyeshadow palette um, that, that's been going around. I haven't got it yet, but it's a great 
eyeshadow palette because you can carry it around it's got all of the shadows that you like unless you don't like shimmery colors but something like this really great because you've got one a brow color if you if you have your brow color in there it can double as a brow color you've got your eyeliner you've got your crease colors you've got your highlights you've got the whole lot and you can do multiple multiple looks with this and it's never not going to match your outfit that's the best thing about neutrals when you're traveling you pack a certain amount of amount of outfits and you don't want to go matching your makeup to every outfit you just want something that looks nice and natural on you so and a natural palette is good to travel with instead of packing every single color that you've got then black mascara and it's just a given then optional brown eyeliner um, you don't really have to pack the eyeliner unless you're going to line your waterline you've already got your neutral colors you don't need to pack it because what you can do is you can use a brush and you can use the neutral colors in your palette as eyeliner so that's always optional I pack one just in case in case I really need to smoke something up on this trip I didn't know so go figure I could have done without then last makeup product and then I've got a couple of other things um, subculture lip liner from MAC this one is really great because it's a nude color it defines the lips you can color the whole lip in for a defined look and cover it with a little bit of the Sarah Hap lip balm and you've got a really nice neutral lip or you can put the Benetin on your lips and then cover it with a lip balm or anything like that you've got three lip options without really carrying many lip products so that's really good also if you if you want to if you feel that you're going to be doing a red lip or something like that take a red lip pencil instead of taking your red lipstick one the lip pencil won't melt as easily if it's left in the if it's left in the sun lip pencils good way to go you can fill your lips in they stay a lot longer and you can get those colors as well they take up less room then when I'm traveling I carry two brushes an angle brush this one's the 208 from Mac I think yep an angle brush you only need one angle brush, it'll do eyeliners, it, it'll do eyeliner, it'll do brows, it'll do a cut, cut crease if you need to, it'll do under the eyes, great, bu great brush to carry, and then a flat shader brush. Uh, there's one similar to this at MAC, um, this one's an Inglot brush and it packs, you can blend out with it, you can cut the crease with it, you can put stuff under the eyes with it. You can do the whole lot with a flat paddle brush. So something like that. The 239 from MAC, really good as well. Great brush to carry. The 217, my favorite brush in particular. It doesn't really pack on color that well, but it does blend nicely. So depending on what kind of look you like to go for, definitely the 217. There's three options. You can carry all three if you like. I wouldn't. I just carry two, but that's just me. Then headband. You always need a headband to put on when you're washing your face or uh, when you're doing your makeup and everything as well. I have to keep my hair off my face to sleep as well, otherwise I start to break out. So I wear a headband to bed. Uh, then we've also got toothbrush. Most hotels don't come with a toothbrush. They'll supply toothpaste, they'll supply uh, shampoo and conditioner and things like that. But they don't have a toothbrush. Depends on where you stay if you're... I like to take my own because they're usually pretty crappy toothbrushes anyway. So toothbrush, a comb, I don't take a hairbrush. I take my straightener and I take a comb and that's all I need. A hairbrush just is another thing that you have to pack. It's a lot bigger than a comb as well. You can even get the one without the tooth comb and you're all good. Then an alligator clip, that's all good. That'll actually... um. That'll keep your hair off your face, or you can section it when you're straightening. Doesn't take up much room, so that's all good. You've got your case. Now, this is just a basic case. It's got a netting in there. Oh, by the way, don't forget deodorant. Just putting that out there. I'm not going to show you my deodorant, but whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, netting in there for your toothbrush and your wet products and things like that. And um, this area here for your makeup. Pack the flatter things on the bottom. Pile everything else on top. So, yeah. 
that's my uh, my travel essentials. Uh, let me know what you guys like to pack in your travel bag as well, because it's always good to find out that I'm missing something or I'm packing something too much when I could be multi multitasking with one product. So let me know. Uh, do you do you carry more than that, or do you carry less, or yeah? Let me know what you think. So I hope you guys like this, and I'll talk to you all later.